This is the Daily Love Podcast. L-O-V. Lexio, orare, vivere. To read, to pray, to live the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening, especially to the Lexio Divina family members. This is Naomi, member of the Lexio Divina team for your daily L-O-V post. We keep on walking with the Lord in this ordinary time which represents the ordered life of the church, the period in which we live our lives in watchfulness and expectation of the second coming of Christ, and the part of the year in which Christ, the Lamb of God, walks among us and transforms our lives. There's nothing ordinary about that. So I'm very happy to pray with you all during this ordinary time where all is ordered according to God's grace. Over the next five minutes, we will look at specific verses from the daily gospel. Then I will share a reflection on them, saying how they speak or relate to us more personally. And after that, I will say particular prayer intentions before concluding with a final prayer that we will say all together. It is by exploring daily the word of Christ that we root ourselves in him, deepen our relationship with him and see his presence in our daily life. On behalf of the Lexio Divina team, I wish you all a happy feast of St. Agatha, Virgin and Martyr. The Lord is the King of Martyrs. Come, let us adore him. Dear brothers and sisters, let's all begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Spirit of Truth who comes from thee, Holy God, enlighten our mind and lead us all to the truth as your Son promised to us. Amen. So today we are in the Gospel according to Mark and we read verses 17 and 18 from chapter 6. Now it was this same Herod who had sent to have John arrested and had him chained up in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, whom he had married. For John had told Herod, it is against the law for you to have your brother's wife. So just a few things to nourish our reflection on these verses. The story of John the Baptist invites us to be people who dare to tell the truth, even in the face of ridicule, rejection, or even death for doing so. Many times we prefer to keep our mouths shut and not to offend people around us, so as to keep peace in relationships, in the family, in the office, in the parish, etc. We yearn for safety and so we shun away from speaking the truth. John the Baptist dared to open his mouth for God. Now it is our turn. Too many times, truths are not being said because we tend to go with the general opinion of others. We check what people have to say about an issue and then we say our own opinions regarding it. We do not have the courage to go against the opinions of others. We do not want to be the lone voice of oppression against the injustice we see at home, in the office or in society. Desmond Tutu, an Anglican bishop who is known as South African's moral conscious, said, Do your little bit of good where you are. It's those little bits of good put together that overwhelm the world. Yes, wherever we are, we are called to do our little bit, to speak our little bit, because it is those little bits of, of good, of truth, put together that overwhelm the world. So just a few questions for us to meditate on today. Do I know the case of persons who have died victims of corruption and of the dominion of the powerful? Do I know persons in my community and in my church, victims of authoritarianism and of an excess of power? Today the prayer intentions are for our Lexio Divina family and all its 139 members, especially for Regan. We pray our Lord Jesus Christ to protect him and give him the grace to always see God in all that he does. O loving Father, grant him the courage to carry out every good work for the building of your kingdom. May our Lord protect Regan and deepen his faith, strengthen his hope and increase his love. We now pray for our three communities, Os Motherly Legion of Mary from St. Teresa's Church, living water in Trinidad and Tobago, and for our clergy, for Robert and his proceeding towards ordination as deacon, and for all seminarians in the Clifton Diocese, that they may listen to the voice of the Lord and follow it with courage and joy. For Father Richard and the volunteers of the St. Nicholas of Tolentino's food bank, and all the people in great need in these difficult times, the SVD priests, Father John OCD, 
Father Francis, Father Valens, Father Rupert, Father Adam and Father Larry, including our Bishop Declan and our Holy Father Pope Francis. We now conclude this time together by bringing all our intentions towards our merciful Mother Mary, so that she may intercede for us to her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us. God bless you all, and please share with your friends, relatives, and community. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and to follow us on Instagram. The Lexio Divina SMQ team hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and also give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query or you want to send us prayer intentions, use our email address which is Lexio, L-E-C-T-I-O, underscore Divina, D-I-V-I-N-A, underscore S-M-Q, at Outlook.com. Thank you.